Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, Hannah and I are gonna be trying easy and healthy and most importantly, yummy recipes that we found off of Pinterest. Great. We did a little bit of research and found some recipes that we are going to be making for my channel and for Hannah's. So let's get started. She's really good. First things first, we headed to the store to get all the ingredients that were on the recipes. Looking good. Here's the finished grocery cart. Gonna go back to the house and do a little grocery haul. We're doing three to five meals each, yes. so we've got a bunch of stuff. Prego. We've got some extra virgin olive oil. Carrots. Yum. Oats. A bunch of leafy greens. <laughs> Celery. Bananas. Yum. Cheese. Spinach. Parmesan cheese. Limon. Gouda cheese. Dark chocolate chips. Nice. Some zucchini. Mozzarella. Pepperoni. Peanut butter. Apples. Coconut oil. Chia seeds. Vegetable broth. Butter. Nice. <gasps> Ranch. Right. Yes. Cinnamon. Spaghetti. Maple syrup. And the fridge is stocked. You've got two hungry girls ready to cook. We are gonna make some keto pizza roll-ups. Yes. We're gonna need 12 slices of mozzarella cheese. It's a, this big ball. <laughs> pepperoni slices. We have these natural uncured pepperonis. Italian seasoning. We already have that out. And some marinara sauce. Hey. Perfect. If you are keto, you would get keto marinara sauce, but we just got the pregnant. <laughs> So this is what the recipe is looking like, but we don't have those slices, so we're just gonna make them our own mini versions with our ball of mozzarella. Okay, we're gonna cut this little ball of goodness. Oh, that is clean. Oh yeah. That's looking clean. That's a nice little slice. Yeah, we'll just do these two. Wow. We're gonna cut these two. I feel like I'm on a cooking channel. Okay, <laughs> like that's it. I'm like, that's the healthy recipe. If you lack talent in the kitchen, this is the video for you. You know what? Maybe when we're like 30 and still friends, we'll do like a gourmet. Oh, we'll one do a gourmet, like, like mom edition? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's pop these in the oven. Preheat it to 400 degrees. We'll see how they turn out. And all it takes to cook is six minutes. So we're gonna put these in. See you in six. <laughs> okay, here we go. Does it look good? Oh <laughs> my! Why? Wait, dude, I think it. I think it's fine. It just had to flatten out. You Do think? you know what I mean? So should yeah. we leave it in a little bit longer? Yeah, we should leave it in. Uh, okay. Should we broil? Yeah, I don't really know broil. what that means. Hey, broil, because that works for the other one. Okay. All right. Well, you just make corrections as you go. <laughs> It's like a millimeter thick. I feel like we messed up on our part because we didn't get slices because mm -hmm. I didn't see any, but it kind of worked out because it's all flat. Hopefully we can be able to roll it up. Mm -hmm. The one we made on Hannah's channel turned out so good. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll taste good. If not, the ranch will fix it, but. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to roll it up. If you love cheese, this is probably for you. I was gonna cheers. Mm. So far, I just taste the marinara, but like it's yeah. good. The seasoning is good. Yeah. Wow, dude. Wow. Mm. I like this. I would enjoy this as like a snack after after like a long day of school. If I was in high school, my mom made these for me. I would die. Hell yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, it's actually really good. I want another. I don't know exactly how healthy this is, but it is yummy. I guess depending. Like, actually, I'm lactose intolerant. I'm eating this, so. Here, here you go. It's a cheesy taquito. Cheese lovers. Oh yeah. Check this one out. So I feel like this was a good like snack, mid-afternoon, little nibble, but tonight we're gonna be making a nice and healthy little dessert. So mm -hmm. see you then. Fun fact, if you need bananas to turn ripe quickly, you put them in darkness and they should turn a little bit faster. So anyways, we've got some bananas. All you're gonna need are some bananas some dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is a little bit healthier than milk chocolate, so we're gonna go for that. Peanut butter in the fridge. Yeah. And we've got some organic creamy peanut butter. And that's all you need. I feel like this is gonna be a good dessert slash snack to satisfy your sugar cravings. I get sugar cravings literally every second of my- Ah! 
hot. I get sugar cravings every second of my existence, so I feel really excited about this. There you have the melted chocolate. You're gonna take your sliced banana, grab your peanut butter, almond butter, and now we prepare. Yeah, so you're basically making like a sandwich with Ooh. banana. And I guess we can just dip it in the chocolate. It's really drippy, but... Voila! <laughs> This is what it looks like, kind of a little messy, but we're gonna pop these in the fridge so they can set. We'll do a taste test when it's done. And she goes. Cute. Yeah. Now we wait. It has been probably an hour or so we went to the beach and now the bananas are ready. I made a few more. <gasps> they look fire. This looks so good. It's all hard. Oh. oh. Look at that. Damn. Okay, let's go try it. I feel like this is gonna hit the spot. I really <laughs> feel like it's gonna. We're pretty oh hungry. Oh my gosh, look at this. So it looks really good when it's all hardened and I'm gonna take this on. This one's pretty juicy. Actually, this one's pretty juicy. I think I'm in the messy Cheers. one. Cheers. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Wow, that's actually be really filling. Yeah, it is thick. Obviously you can add more or less chocolate. You could just do chocolate, you could just do peanut butter, but I think this is really fun. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good dessert snack option. It's a fruit. I feel like I would make those again, but I don't know how often I would mm -hmm. because I think I feel like I would just rather have like bananas with like chocolate on the side and dip that in. It is yummy. I give it like a seven out of 10. Yeah. If there was more chocolate, I would give it a nine, but I'll give it an eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, there's the fruit. What are we gonna do next? We are gonna be making some apple cinnamon crisps. Bitch, what? We are gonna be making, ugh, there's so much wind. We are gonna be making some apple cinnamon crisps. They're gonna be like little chips, but healthy virgin. We are. <laughs> hey yo, she got them apples though. <laughs> she got them apples. You do it too naturally. We are gonna be making some apple cinnamon chips and they're gonna be really good because they're really hungry. <laughs> They are. <laughs> they are really <laughs> yummy, I think. I don't know, let's find out. I'm gonna rinse the apples. This one's really easy. All you basically have to do is cut it pretty thinly. So that'll be the first step. Oh, yes! I just love apples in general, so I feel like with cinnamon plus sugar, it's bound to be a good little snack. We've got the thinly sliced little apple crisp. Now we're gonna add some sugar and cinnamon. This is so easy. I feel like I've made something like this in like first grade. Though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, me. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> oh yeah, they're sticking. <laughs> I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. Simply line with parchment paper. And then we're gonna spread them out. These are gonna be so good. Preheat your oven to 200, and we're just gonna kind of cook them until they look like chips, so two to three hours, the recipe says. But I'm gonna pop them in with Hannah zucchini, and voila, beautiful. Mmm. Mm. Wait. I know, it's gonna be yum. Do we need to cook them? <laughs> yeah. Eat spoonfuls. <laughs> If you do not have access to an oven, <laughs> simply just eat it like this. I just took these out of the oven. They are looking super crispy, so it's time for a taste test. Let's dive in. Ooh! <sighs> oh wait, that's kinda good. Mm, it's that's not warm. chippy, mm -mm. but it's warm. Mm. It's a little gooey on the in the middle. I kind of love how it's not crispy. I know. It's almost even better. Wait. Yeah, these are really good. I am liking this. They're really sweet. Mm -hmm. I love it. If you're a fan of apples, you would love this. Mm. It's like almost tastes like a warm apple pie. Right? Like a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. I feel like for those of you who are experiencing like a cold winter, this is a wonderful snack. It feels so warm. Or if you live in like the Southern Hemisphere or Hawaii, eat them cold. It was even good before we put them in. Those hit different. Like two different vibes. Yeah, very. Cold was good, mm -hmm. leave some cold, and then also make these. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm giving it a 10. It was so effing good. Yeah. And I'm gonna give these, I'm gonna give these like 10 too. I yeah. really like this. I'm gonna give the cold a 10, and I'll give these probably like a nine, just because it's like, you gotta get like the sizing right and everything right, but they're all, I don't know. It's really good. It's just really filling and sweet and mm -hmm. just nice. 
I think I'm most excited for this one because this is like a meal. Yeah, this is a full meal. Yeah, and I love pasta. So we we're making a lemon spinach pasta and here's what you will need. Lemon, some spinach, okay. vegetable broth, an onion, salt, pepper, garlic, and of course the pasta. We just got whole wheat spaghetti. Kinda just chopped this. We got some oil in the pan or the thing. Gonna let these saute until they're transparent. We don't have a mincer here, so we're gonna, gonna do this. Be like her best. really careful. Adding some garlic. Okay, so we're gonna add the uncooked spaghetti, vegetable broth, and coconut milk. We actually have almond milk that might adjust the taste a little bit, but it'll pretty much be the same thing, as well as the lemon juice. Mm. Well, this is gonna definitely alter the taste a little bit, but it should still be pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna cut this lemon. I'm gonna add the spaghetti. <sighs> Two and a half cups of vegetable broth. <laughs> Here's what the progress is looking like, guys. It's really soaking up all the juice, so I think it's almost done cooking. Just wanna make sure the pasta's all like cooked thoroughly. And then we'll add spinach, maybe top it off with some cheese, and test it out. The pasta is looking pretty al dente, so it says to add in the spinach and you're supposed to also add in some lemon zest, which is just like the skin of the lemon, but we don't have a zester, so I'm just gonna add in the spinach. The thing about like leafy greens is that they cook down so much, especially spinach, so it kind of looks like a lot, but they shrink once they're heated up. So I'm just gonna mix this in. Looking super good. I could probably add more spinach. I think it's fine. <laughs> to finish this off, I'm just gonna add some salt, some pepper. You could also add red chili flakes. Yeah. Honestly, looking really good. Right? Yeah. All right. Bon appetit. Let's eat. Oh. Wow. We really talked on ourselves. We have. This looks delectable. It's fresh. It's hot. Let's try. Hot. Wait, Ava. Wait, it's good. Wait, that's really good. She's, She's really, really good. good. Holy shit. Mm. This is good. That's awesome. You wanna like melt some cheese on top? Yeah, like Parmesan. Mm, yeah, Parmesan. I think I could have added like a little more lemon. Lemony. And obviously we kind of mix up the ingredients with the coconut, like full fat milk. But this still tastes really good. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that in your house, like you could opt for whatever milk option. Mmm. I just know this would taste like even better with like regular pasta. Mm. Wow. This is a really like good meal. I was like, sh I didn't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'm gonna give this probably a nine. And that is it for these easy, healthy recipes that we found on Pinterest. Hannah yes. did also four recipes yes. that are different from mine. So I'm gonna have her video and her channel linked down below because it's a collab. It's a collab. It feels like <laughs> 2016 again. I know, what the heck. Casual collabs, okay? Let me know if you guys make any of these or let me know your favorite easy, healthy recipe. Tag and us in your stories. Yes. You Good work, guys. Thanks for staying to the end. Bye.